What's happening? This is Everdon, and welcome to another episode of the BFB Podcast, formerly known as the Beats for Breakfast Podcast. Thank you all for watching. Um, there's a lot that's gonna be back unpacked. I said back unpacked in this episode, and um, this is something that I felt was necessary to say on the Avedon Smith channel. So if you're seeing this on that channel as well as the BFB Podcast, that is why. Plus, I know not everyone on the Avedon Smith channel is subscribed to the BFB podcast. So this is an easy way to get everyone up to date on what's been going on. And also to kind of like give a message that could probably help somebody else out there who is struggling with the same thing I've been. So with that said, I want to also thank everyone who is following over on the audio platform. So if you're going to first time follow over there, I do want to say thank you. We're over on Spotify, Google Podcasts and the like. So go ahead and follow those podcasts. Um, follow me on those platforms as well. If you want to hear this on an audio based platform only. So and furthermore, this will be going if I didn't say it already, this will be on the BFB podcast channel. So the link for this channel for that channel will be in the description down below. So that was a lot to say. Had to get all that out. Let's get started. So um, as you see the title, this is called Who Are You? And this is this is a question that, you know, if you um, been to like business seminars or if you've been to just like, you know, anything real marketing wise where they would ask you that question, who are you? How can you answer that question without including your career path? Um, your job occupation or who you are in your family structure because these things don't describe who you are and I'm gonna get more into that when we get deeper into this podcast so I suggest you go ahead and get a snack while you're listening because we're gonna we're gonna be here for a little bit so over the break I well over my break I know everyone don't have a break over my break away um, just these past uh, couple of weeks um, just taking time um, with family and visit a family friend and I was talking with um, one of the my, one of the friends over there. Shout out to you, Dev. And we was just just speaking about content creation. We're both content creators, and just how much the grind could be extremely exhausting. And it was it was rather um, liberating to feel that I was able to share that I had to take a break from. April, no, I said April, August to, I want to say about November until I finally had an upload where I finally be went live and made some music. And I tell you, just taking that break was liberating for me. And one of the things that um, I mentioned was I went from doing spiritual content um, about God and everything to live streaming, to gaming news, to music with mu gaming music, gaming music reviews. Um, what else did I do? Then I did gaming remixes. Then I went into full out music. Then I, it was just, I went, I went all over the place. I did podcasts and everything. And I really got to a place where I was like, I don't know my purpose or who I am because I keep on going from this thing to that thing, this thing to that thing. And I didn't see that was a form of depression. That was a form of just not really dealing with yourself. So I spent a good three months just dealing with myself, dealing with a lot of the toxic habits that I had, dealing with um, issues that I found that was unresolved from my own childhood and everything. And it was a rather liberating feeling because when you start seeing, oh, that's why I respond the way I do to certain things, it literally kind of like unplugged myself from a lot of old childhood traumas and everything. So with all that said, I know I'm dropping a lot right now, but we it's, it's important. Just just stay with me right, right now. So um, he shared something that was rather thought provoking. And I have to say, it's good because of this conversation that I'm even re-recording this video because I originally recorded episode one, the new for, for season two, before I even took, you know, my vacation. And the Lord told me, wait until I get back in the new year and I may re-record, I may want to re-record this. 
So I waited and he was right because that conversation of who are you really sat with me. And we got to that place where it's like, if you went to the other side of the world where they have really no knowledge of what it is that you do, what is your job occupation? What is your career path? What is your family line structure? What is all your accomplishments on social media and all these things that you have done? What is that to somebody who has never heard of you? How does that benefit them? How does that add value to them? And it was a rather humbling question because I couldn't, it's like, it's hard to answer that. It's like, oh, I'm Avedon Smith, podcast host, um, beat maker, producer. It's like, okay, what does that do for somebody who lives in Tibet or something like that? You know, what does that do for them? That's important to me. That may have value to me, but is it toxic to attribute that to my identity to say that's who I am? Because what if, you know, God forbid, I just can't record podcasts no more. What if I just can't make music anymore? Does that mean I don't have purpose in life anymore? Does that mean that I can't be who I am? And that's where I saw the fallacy in attributing your identity to your career path and to um, even who you are in your family line and everything. It's like, you gotta go deeper in that. So I got to a place where I realized that Without music, there is one thing that I always desire to do every single day. I'll do this if I'm even laying in bed sick and I got nothing but pain in my body. And this is something I would still do. And that's encourage people. That and preach the word. Those are like the only two things that I would do no matter what. And I really, 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 really realized that I am an encourager. It's... I've noticed all throughout my life, people have always felt safe to come to me and to bring things towards me. And it's like, I've been blessed to be able to encourage people to move forward in the things that they desire to do. So that's for me. I've learned who I was in these past times that I've been gone, which brings me to, you know, why I've been gone for so long. I've been really wanting to make sure if I come back to doing YouTube, there's more purpose behind it. There's more meaning behind it. There's a better sense of direction of where I need to go. And I told myself it wouldn't make sense for me to just make all this content only to turn around and say, you know, I don't want to do this no more. You know, I started getting to a place and this is for those of you who don't know, um, I am a believer in Christ. So there are going to there is in this podcast going to be a lot more references and pointing at that. So I'm just giving you all the heads up now, because the reason why and this is not me pushing on anybody. I'm just going to say this. It's going to it's going to make sense in a second. I started thinking of life differently. I started thinking of life from a, from a standpoint of, instead of I'm gonna die someday, I'm gonna go to sleep and wake up and continue life where I left off. So if that be the case, what can I start doing that's going to have an expiration date of eternity? And that's where a lot of my priorities have really changed. Um, I still play um, some video games here and there, but it's hard for me to play video games as much as I used to. There's some periods where I could play like a little bit more than I normally would. Um, during my break, I got Monster Hunter Rise, uh, leveled up kind of quickly and played some Smash Brothers with Chips and um, Nicholas and a few other people, uh, Jake and too, and had, you know, some time to just you know, have that little free time, but there's a ticker in my head always. What am I gonna do next? And I really came to a place where if I don't know what to do with my time, I can't be trusted to do things for other people or do things that could probably help people in a greater in a greater fashion. So I started holding myself more accountable with my time and how I spend my time each day. And that's where I've been most of the time. I haven't been rushing back because I've been just enjoying the solitude of not having to be on social media all the time, not having to be in front of a camera all the time. One of the things when I was just away, I would just, um, I met up with, with a 
In fact, that conversation and a conversation I met up with her brother um, that been cool with him for years and everything. Both conversations, we barely looked at our phones. Like one conversation, we're literally at um, the restaurant table, phones face down, 95% of the conversation. And the only times to check was literally just check in just to see what time, because we were still on the time schedule, but check the time at least once. But most of the time was basically just talking back and forth. And that's something that in 2022, I desire to do more. I desire to be on social media a whole lot less and not be so caught up in what's going on in the news, gaming or regular news all the time and just live the world and the life in front of me and be a light of those around me first. And that's where I got to who I am now. So what does this mean for both channels? Uh, the Avenon Smith channel, um, I said this in a previous update already, but I'm gonna say it again. Uh, there will be no more gaming content on this channel. I know the bulk majority of you came and subscribed based off that. And I do desire to say if that is a deal breaker, please unsubscribe. Like seriously, don't don't worry about, don't stay subscribed and give me an extra sub number, but don't desire to watch the content. I'd rather you just unsubscribe. I won't take it personal. It's I unsubscribe from people that I don't watch their content anymore. So I expect people to do the same for me. Um, there will be music though. Music will be secondary. I will not have an upload schedule for music because music is something that I do desire to create freely and without um, any type of pressure. So there will be music uploads and um, I will have highlight stream highlights where if I do a live stream on, you know, a weekend or something, I got some time to do a live stream. And if a Q&A question is really good, I'll go ahead and put that Q&A question as a piece of content on this channel. As of now, that's what you could expect on this channel. I may do some um, plug-in reviews and some product reviews on this channel relating to music as well. So those are a few things you could expect on the Abaddon Smith channel. Um, as for the BFB podcast channel, um, the podcast will be coming back, interviews will be coming back, um, but it's going to be more lifestyle based than gaming and music based. Um, we may get into music a little bit and if relevant, we may get into gaming a little bit, but for the most part, it's going to be more so lifestyle based and lifestyle based where um, I'm saying this now, so if anyone's watching the episode, if you desire to de decline to, to come on, if I invite you, so be it. But um, there's going to be the freedom to express what, you know, I understand in my walk in the Lord and how I move forward with that. That's something that I'm no longer putting a stop on. That's something I'm no longer putting a... Um, how, how should you say this? The breaks on. Because when I did gaming content, I kind of relaxed that a lot. And I didn't like who I was becoming. I'll just say that much. I didn't like the fact that I was compromising and kind of like being almost two-faced. Like there's one side of me here in gaming and there's one side of me here where people see me in real life. I desire to be more consistent in who I am wherever I'm, wherever I'm at. So that's what it's gonna be for the BFB podcast. So that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this episode. We're going to go ahead and continue this. Probably I'm going to aim for a weekly basis. I'm not promising that. I'm going to aim for a weekly basis. On what day? I am not sure. I am really creating at a, very, at a, at a more relaxed and free pace where I'm not going to stress myself out over content any further. But I will be creating and will be, be I will be giving my best work to you all. Uh, as you can tell, this is not going to be edited edited out. So all these words I'm tripling and stumbling off, you're welcome. <laughs> all right. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. If you are on other platforms, make sure you go ahead and follow us on other platforms if you desire to. If not, is it's all good. I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, Make sure you hit like, you hit subscribe or follow. And most of all, most of all, you make sure you share this 
with a friend. This is Abaddon, and I'm out. Take care. <laughs>